everybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Hey guys, Oda King Live coming at you again for part two of the massive game pickup video. Uh, this is this is everything else that wasn't in part one. So now I just want to do a quick uh, quick uh, whoopsie, a uh, little bit of an oopsie, and uh, just I missed I missed some other games that should have been in the first one. Uh, when I went digging for everything else, I found them all. So let's try to rip through these real quick. Hang on, Safari Hunt for the Master System. I ended up buying this twice recently somehow. I don't know how. Uh, Lion King. This was a box only deal. Um, I already had the game, so got it, and it is minty. Uh, Shanghai, two dollar pickup from uh, one of the pawn shops. Columns, another two dollar pickup from uh, one of the pawn shops. Mint case this is why I got it. And Risk for fifteen, but I'm pretty sure I paid ten. Hopefully I did because, uh, but again, all delicious cases, and uh, can't complain about those. Now was that was that the only missed games that I missed? I believe so. Now let's go through some of the other junk that we picked up. Boom. Prize Fighter, Sega CD. Uh, box is destroyed, so I got it like super cheap. Uh, and uh, discs are a little scratched, but you do what you do. Rebel Assault, Sega CD. Very nice. I like it. Disc is a little scratched up, but I got a good deal on it, so can't complain. Uh, finding Sega CD games uh, isn't the easiest thing to do in the world. So, after those, let's go to these. Um, let's skip TGA Tour 97, because who cares. Um, Mech Warrior 2 and Bug on Saturn. I actually got these with a complete box Saturn as well. Uh, $100 off a friend. Um, also came with a copy of Albert Odyssey, which uh, I sold for a good penny on eBay, because I already own a mint copy of it. Alright, alright, alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got some handhelds. Let's go through some handhelds. Star Trek on Game Boy. Uh, actually, just picked this up. Uh, Seven fifty. Uh, what do we got here? Oh god, we got the blur. We got the blur. That's what we got. We got Tom and Jerry on uh, Game Gear. Donald Duck on Game Gear. And uh, X Men on Game Gear. And then Paper Boy on uh, Game Boy. What if I zoom in on this? Will this help? Oh yeah, there we go. We got we got some quality uh, non fuzz now because it actually wants to maybe zoom you know focus on it yeah there we go yeah don't focus on the stuff on the back you stupid camera all right let's zoom back here now that the handhelds are done all right what do we got what do we got oh we got we got more misses more misses legendary wings um nintendo box only again had the game already stuck her inside what else we got what else did we miss what do we, we got galaga on uh ness uh loose and we got solomon's key box only again uh as you can tell there's nothing in here and it is pretty minty though, so I'm not complaining. All right, all right, those are all the misses, I swear to God. Um, on Modern Luckily, I missed some more. But if I did, they're going into the next one. PSP, let's rip them. Fat Princess Fistful of Cake, I think I paid $3.99 for it. Neverland Card Battles, buck ninety nine, And Ghost in the Shell, uh, paid a little premium on that, $18, yeah. No manual, it sucks, but you know, what, 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 whatever happens, happens. All right, uh, let's 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 save the best to last. Let's rip through. Let's rip through the PlayStation. We got Spyro, Ripter's Rage. Uh, what sucks is I'm missing the back on this one. Just have the manual in the game, but you know whatever, right? And then we got Crash Bash. Let's just burn through these. Tony Hawk Two. God knows I probably already went through these a couple. Of, one of my last one of my last videos. I don't know. Gundam Battle Assault Two. I have a bad feeling I've already gone through these. This is starting to sound familiar, so let's go real quick. Sled Storm, Star Wars Demolition, Forsaken, Lemmings, and the Lemmings, yeah, no back. Gaia, Project Overkill, Twisted Metal for like the third time. This is now getting heavy, I gotta put these down. Ugh. Alien Resurrection, Tomb Raider 2, another Spyro, another Spyro, You're the Dragon, and then Rascal. Yeah, I have a feeling I went through those once already, so let's get them done. Alright, GameCube! Midway Treasures 2. Wow, apparently this was $1 at one point. I didn't pay a dollar for it, but I didn't pay too much more for it. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. I think I got this for a tenner. Um, any Mega Man game is always worth it. Because, you know, they're classics. 
Def Jam Vendetta. This is an interesting one. I always skip these games until I started learning they're going up in value. They're becoming kind of pricey. So uh, for for a ten bucks, uh, I'll get it. And then of course my favorite games that I found for like two dollars each, the Bratz games. How do you not have these in your collection? Um, no GameCube collection is, is is complete without these saucy saucy ladies. All right, that's uh, I said I'd save the best for last, and it definitely wasn't those. All right, uh, you know what? Let's rip these real quick because I think I missed them last time. It's Aladdin, uh, complete in box on Game Gear. I paid five bucks for these, they're mint. Boxes are smashed though. Actually, Miss Pac-Man's all right for a fiver. And then the Jungle Book for five. I don't know if these are factory sealed or not. The wrapping seems really, uh, really kind of aftermarket-y, but apparently 99 cents at one point. So, dear God, imagine the deals you could have got if you paid attention. All right, let's rip some uh, some loose Super Nintendo. Oh, good God, the camera's about to fall. Tom and Jerry just picked that up for, what did I pay, 10 for it. Uh, Gradius 3, a game that actually is cheaper than I expect. I always think Gradius 3 would be more because a lot of the shoot 'em ups are, but it's actually a pretty cheap game. All right, next to Goof Troop and Paperboy 2. I know where there's a loose box for this. I'm gonna have to go get it. And then Goof Troop, uh, I think there's a loose box at Buddy's Place too for it. All right, what else we got, what else we got? Soldiers of Fortune, now I picked this up uh, in box all minty because I thought I didn't have it at all, but I actually already have the game. So there's uh, there's one of my games going to my trade bait pile. Throw that to the side. James Bond Jr. <laughs> terrible game, uh, terrible cartoon, but I remember watching it back in the day as a kid. So uh, when I saw it, I had to have it. And I literally still have my receipt. I bought this game when I was younger. I found the receipt the other day and I paid like 60 bucks for it. Dear God, the price we paid for games back in the day. All right, Super R-Type, uh, 50 bucks, it was complete. I paid 50 for it, and again, it's actually not really up at that value. Um, I was kind of surprised when I looked into it later that it's really only about a $40, $50 game max. But whatever, uh, so you win some, you lose some. And then, oh dear God, I own two of these? Oh shit, okay, well, oh, oops. Uh, Gradius 3, um, complete. Uh, okay, well, I guess I got uh, another Gradius for the trade pile. Let's let's just uh, put put a little sticker on that one. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, we got a weird one here. Whoops. Uh, Kasumi Ninja on the uh, Jaguar. 30 bucks for a complete in box. Can't complain. Jag games are not exactly the easiest things to find. So um, I picked it up. He actually, uh, it was this local store. He actually had two, and this was the nicer box. And this one's probably pretty beat to hell, but whatever. Dr. Mario and Tetris uh, in one. This is one of the old the old Rogers video type butcher jobs where they used to cut the box into a million pieces and uh, stick it in one of these rental cases and stick their stickers all over everything. Actually, this is Video King, this one. Uh, game has some vicious yellowing on it, but I think I got it pretty cheap because of all the nonsense associated with it. So I think it was 30, but I only paid like 20. So can't complain when it normally sells for 50 in a better shape, but whatever. Ultraman, this is a box only from my box guy. No game in it. I cannot believe I don't own Ultraman. Another box only, Prince of Persia 2. Box only because I didn't even know this game existed. I mean, I was a huge Prince of Persia 1 fan. I don't know where 2 came from. And, oh, talking to Prince of Persia 1, boom, there we go. Prince of Persia 1, um, I used to be able to wreck this game. Um, I was actually really proud that I used to be able to beat this game quite easily because it is uh, it is pretty tough if you are familiar with it. And then we got some more boxes that I can't believe I haven't completed yet. Batman Returns picked up the box. It's a little smashed, but hey, you know what you do, what you do. And it's on my list to uh, complete. And then this stupid Dracula box that I bought for $5. Smashed and everything else, and I don't know why I bought this. I'm, it's one of those rare, God, why did I buy these situations? All right, now for the juicier stuff. We got Donkey Kong Country, complete in box. Uh, again, this was a box deal, but I had the game, so I stuck it in there. Jurassic Park, again, box only, had the game, stuck it in there, and uh, you know, you gotta have them in these protective sleeves. They're pretty nice. There's a juicier one. Mario All-Stars, uh, Player's Choice Edition with, uh, I really like that gold that they started using for those. Um, again, uh, it was a box only, I think I paid 20 for it, but whatever. 
Seventh Saga again. This was a box buy. Um, it's it's not a terrible box, and uh, I used to play this a lot back when I was a teenager. So I uh, have the game, of course, already, and I had to have the box. And then uh, one of my old favorites when I was uh, younger is Gemfire. I used to play this game so much, my uncle used to hate it. He'd come down and he'd be like, oh no, not Gemfire again. And um, I really love the old uh, Japanese, um, you know, strategy games. And uh, good God, Koei, I've been, I've been with them for a long time and I'm gonna, gonna keep hanging with them. All right, uh, that is pretty much it. Let's just rip through these last few quick. Um, mostly because I can't believe that they're actually more up there in price. These are in television games. Um, we got we got World Championship Baseball. The boxes are pretty squished. I really got to get them in some type of protectors. And Super Pro Football. Uh, again, these were in the five dollar section because they're sports titles, and I honestly thought they were worth nothing. So I left them there for months until I one day I just decided to look them up, and they were worth a bit more than I thought. And uh, what happened was it's because I looked up these two games. World Cup Soccer and Championship Tennis. These are like $30 games for some reason. I guess just because probably they were more near the end of the life. Maybe nobody bought them. I don't know. But uh, they're not they're not that cheap. And at like 5 bucks each again, um, I grabbed them up. And that's when I looked up baseball and football and couldn't believe it. So every once in a while, a sports game is worth something. And that's kind of nice. All right, man, that's about it for now. I mean, there's some more junk laying around, but that's good enough for now. Again, we're almost at 12 minutes, and um, I'm good. I'm happy. Uh, there's this and that and the next thing, but I don't, I don't really care right now. So from Miku in the back corner there, and uh, what was that, Roxas? And uh, my little Gundam that's sitting up there, and everybody else, uh, leave a comment down below if you saw something you like. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Uh, if uh, you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you next time. Peace.